Look at that. So, just in the left of Fran, there we go. Craig's going to show you. Those are the lions. And they haven't lifted their heads. And what I think might happen, the wind is blowing from east to west, and those elephants are going to pass just west of the lions. And if that happens, those ellies, they've got a young calf there, will take exception to being near male lions. So there we go. It's going to be very interesting to watch what happens. Now, if the elephants keep moving in the direction they're moving, they are going to get the scent of the lions. They probably need to go... Oh, is that, is that a lion head up? Am I imagining? No, I'm imagining. It's a gory bush. No, elephants, come towards me. Then you'll get their scent and you can chase them. And you can chase them to cheat plans. Now the elephants actually have to come slightly more towards us to get their scent. If they continue in that direction, they might not pick up the lion scent. Ooh! No, Ellie's, you looked, you were going in the perfect direction to catch their scent. And if there's one thing that can wake up a slumbering male lion, it's three and a half thousand kilograms of irritated pachyderm. As you can see, very, very much stumbling. Oh, there we go. They've changed direction again. Did they pick up scent? It looks to be a little bit more purpose to their walk. I think they might have just caught a whiff of those lines. Look, look at her smelling. May, uh, just come out a little bit. Let's just keep both in shot in case the Ellie's charge. So... The elephants are, are heading quite close to the lions now. You can just see their tails flicking. No, maybe she didn't get their scent. Maybe they just decided to change direction. So they're not going to get the scent if they walk there. They need to come maybe, I'm trying to guess the distance there, not far. Oh, there's, there's a trunk up. Oh, there's, there's a lion head moving. Now, the lions might choose to, to stay very low to the ground. I, I think that one elephant picked, picked up the movement. Yes, it pick, it's picked up the movement. There, heads up. Oh, oh. There we go. Now, now, this is very interesting. Now, watch the elephant behavior here. Oh, there we go. Three heads up now. The lions even look like they're, they're ready to run. Elephants have, seem to have decided. They're quite... Strangely, that they're, they're, they're not too much of a threat. Maybe because it's so open. Well, is that little Ellie interaction going to prompt the Birmingham boys uh, to have a stretch? Have an evening ablution? Oh, there's Mfumo. Uh, just zoom, 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 zoom. Now, we've seen the pictures. I think that's Mfumo. I think I can see a scar on the right-hand lion's eye. Oh, he's turned now. And he's back to sleep. Oh, I was so hoping the Eddies were going to chase them towards us. Okay, well, we're going to see, sit right here, see what pans out while we do that. Uh, let's go back to Tristan with Shadow. So Shadow is still moving quite quickly through this block. It's proving to be quite tough to follow her. Oh, well, the Eddies changed their mind and have chased the Birminghams. As you can see, they're up. Uh, to the right of the screen, and there the Eddie's coming in from the left. It's going to be interesting to see how far they chase them. <laughs> now, now, a lot of people seem to think that lions are the king of the jungle, the African savanna. Now, here we have three of the, the baddest bruisers in the bush, and they are put to shame by a female. <laughs> so it is very obvious who is the true king of the African bush as the Birminghams try to keep as much distance between the elephants and themselves. There we go. Oh, come, come a little bit further north. Come towards me. Let's turn around. Check where the elephants are. Come on, Eddies. Give them one more good chase towards us. Now, before the elephant actually started chasing them, the Birmingham boys were up and on the move. Oh, there we go. 
they're going to escort them further. Oh, there we go. And the lines are running. There. Oh! Brrr. Okay, we need to move. Oh no! My car won't start. These Ellies are getting quite serious about chasing these Birmingham boys. I'm just going to try to get into a spot where I think they're going to come out. Hold on! It's, it's quite an airy calm at the moment. Those lions might have gone into some thickets, thought they've lost the elephants, but quite often what elephants will do is sniff them out. Keep chasing them. How exciting. Okay. We're going to move a little bit further to the east again. See if we can see where the Birminghams are. Now, the grass is quite long, so it could make it quite difficult to see. Birmingham boys. Now, I can't really see who's who just yet. There's one still coming at the back. Oh, that's not Tinyor closest to us. But we've still got, I think, Mfumo on his way. Yes, it is Mfumo. can see the wound in his eye. Now, that's a new one. Oh, he's in the walls, eh, boy? Now, whether he's got that from fighting with other males or fighting with his brother, we're, not, we're never going to know, unfortunately. He's got a couple of bite marks in his shoulder as well. So he's going to pass right next to Craig. So he's got a wound on his shoulder. Okay, let's stick with them. Quick scent mark. Oh, lucky we went too close. Now, believe it or not, I have been scent marked by a male lion before. Right. So exciting, the Permian boys have come back. Now, it's going to be really interesting to hear what happens um, with the Matimbas and how far they actually managed to get. There we go. There's the authority. Looking a little worse for wear. Now, oh, let me get into the right gear. There we go. No, maybe second. Oh, it doesn't look like they're going very far before napping. They just wanted to get away from those eddies. Oh, they're having a drink. Let's get around to the right side. I didn't even see that pan here. Now, Cheetah Plains has had so much ooh, more rain than we have at Juma. We have to be careful we don't end up getting stuck. That wouldn't be ideal, stuck next to three male lions having a drink. Let me just get around in front of them. Oh, yeah. Now, see, you can see how the grass changes. I think that's about as close as I can get without getting stuck in the mud. Listen to that. Thirsty boys. As I said, I haven't had a chance to ID the other two lions apart from four. Now you can see, you can barely even see there's water in here. The grass is so high. Worried about the elephants coming back. <laughs> the 
just listen to how thirsty they are. It has been a really hot day. Oh, who's that? Does that look like Nena? Oh, I can't really see. I'm not looking too full. I'm not starving, but definitely could enjoy a meal. Well, he could. Let's have a look at the other two now. Jilly would like to know how old these boys are. They're between six and seven years old, Jilly. Oh, here comes... Who is this now? I think... Is this... Nena or... Tsuko? Yeah, I think that's Nena. Oh, I haven't said... There's... There's, um... <laughs> Mfumo. Wait till he turns his head. There we go. Oh, you can see that wound. Oh, suddenly realised that there's still water in front of him. Is he going to go for it? Oh, he's found a way around. Now you can see that wound on his eye. Oh, he's been in a big scrap. And there comes Tinio. And Shamal, you are spot on. Mfumo, Nana, and Tinio. Okay, they've gone right behind us. Alright. <laughs>